It is exercise number four, dodging and burning. Again, something we used to have to do in the darkroom. We had a little wire with a round piece of cardboard on the end, and if we wanted to lighten something up a little bit during the exposure of that particular print, you would stick that out over the photographic paper during exposure and move it slightly to feather the edge and give it a little less exposure. And there are also burn tools uh, that would darken areas, but our favorite one was just to make a little hole in your hand and, and do it that way. But we're going to do that in Photoshop. We're going to open a picture again. Um, we'll start with the dodge tool, and looks like I got the burn tool open, but there's the dodge tool. Looks like we used to use in the darkroom. And I, you know, I don't know what I want to darken. We'll darken this in here, um, or lighten it. Yeah. So what do I want to lighten? I'm going to lighten this a little bit. So we'll work on the highlights, and let's talk about this little brush here. This is your brush that you're going to do this with, and the bracket keys, which are just to the left of the character P, um, the left bracket makes it smaller, the right bracket makes it bigger. So again, a nice little trick to learn. And I think I'll make it a little smaller, and I'm going to try and lighten up this one, and you can see that that got lighter. And you're going to show me, you know, what you did. Uh, so I'm going to ask you to just ruin the picture. Uh, we're going to really lighten something up more than maybe we might want it. And we'll just keep lightening these things up. Every time I press the button, it gets lighter. And But again, it'll be hard for me to tell the difference. But we're going to go to the burn tool. And what you decide to do this with is strictly up to you. But I would like to be able to see that you've done something. And again, I'm going to burn my highlights. I've got my exposure set up here uh, at 50%. And over here is, you know, size uh, of brush and all this kind of junk. Uh, we talked about, but we're going to come over here and darken up this green elevator. Just ruin the picture. And I want to see that you figured out how to do this. And I should be able to tell the difference here between the original and this one. I'm not going to do it. But uh, you need to save it as um, E4B because the first instruction was to save your original as E4A. And again, do the save for web so these aren't great big files. Um, it w will come in handy uh, later that you've done this. Okay.